All right, guys, today I'm going to teach you guys how to play Riffin in the mid lane and 1v9 with it, with the Electrocute page. So what you want to take is going to be Electrocute. You want to take Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Nullifying Orb, and Transcendence. Now, uh, one thing I would like to mention, Conqueror, you know, is pretty strong and... Chances are likely you're going to be playing Conqueror and Riffin mid lane anyways, regardless of the matchup. But um, Electrocute Page on Riffin mid lane is actually very outstanding as well. Because if you make it to like a certain point, you can actually delete AP carries and champions like Akali quite easily with it. I'll show you how that works. So level 1 on Riffin mid lane is very straightforward. Uh, you can once uh, you can actually try to like all in directly with, with Riffin if you want to. Um, it kind of depends on like how they play it. So we're going to be chilling out. We're going to be waiting specifically for my level 3. I'll definitely take the pressure here right here so I can maybe use that to set up something in the river. Like by taking the pressure in mid and by stacking it up, you can directly get a fight off uh, at, at the 3 minute mark. I'll show you how that works. So knowing how Cossix is pathing, the chances are very likely that he's currently going topside right now as of this very moment. So what we are going to do is pop a little pot, uh, ward right here so we know where he is. That's for Gangplank. Uh, Gangplank is kind of risking it because Cossix is definitely coming topside, that's for sure. Okay, she gets some damage off, but I am winning that pretty hard. I think that's probably not enough, is it? Oh, okay, we actually finished her off like that, sure. Yeah, I was kind of worried that this might not actually work, but I'm kind of impressed it actually did. Because <laughs> that was like the maximum kind of damage you could possibly get off here. Okay, so let's back off. The first item that we are going to buy this game is going to be the Ghost Blade, which is my favorite item at the moment for Rifted mid lane. I'm going to take a long sword along with it, and I'll take another pod so I can have some sustain in mid. Now, as we slowly approach the lane again, guys... Um, what we are going to do is do the exact same thing. I'm going to try to get the pressure in mid. And then I'll use that to see if I can roam down top or bot. Or possibly even getting a kill or something like that. What we technically could do as well is freezing down the wave right now. And letting Akali walk up to us so we can actually kill her. But once again, we are like... We're actually giving the pressure towards her if we do that. So let's see. I'll test it out. Like, if she keeps playing it safely, then I, I'm not very happy with this because we don't get kills this way, but... The beautiful thing about this matchup is, like, if you play Riffin in top lane against Akali, you can't actually all in Akali with shield, but if you play Riffin in mid lane, you actually can. Like, the entire matchup is completely different. Okay, we could try to dive this, maybe. If she stays, then we can definitely dive her. Hold on a second, we're about to reach level 6. Oh, okay, we got her. I cheesed her with the, the, the third Q, so I used my first Q to stack up and then i use my uh my level six the the turn and then i just jump in and straight up kill her we take a one plate i would personally love to stay for another one because i'm getting pretty close to my item already but uh we're not gonna make it we need to get like 1450. Well, we actually have the Ghost Blade right now. We actually got it. Wow. We got a Ghost Blade at six minutes in the game. Wait, hold on a second here. 
<laughs> wow. So we got two kills, we got 55 CS, and we got two plates, and we got Ghost Plate at six minutes in the game. Look at this. This guy only has the Amplifying Tome. <laughs> wow. GP only has a Sheen. We are already having a Ghost Blade. <laughs> uh, this Twitch only has a Dagger. Oh, beautiful. This is going to be fun. Okay. Let's push it up all the way. Kha'Zix is currently topside, so we don't have to worry about him. Yeah, that's definitely the beauty about... Uh, playing Riffin and... Getting kills early in mid. But you're dead. Nice try. Even if Akali walks this way, I will still kill her. Even if she walks this way and she tries to roam, I will kill her this way. If she walks this way and she tries to go back to lane, then I'll definitely kill her too. So she doesn't have much of a chance. Playing Riffin in mid lane against Akali is way better than playing Riffin in top lane against Akali. Like the, the, the matchup difference is pretty huge. Because there's so much you can do now with the, with the little space that you have. Oh, whoops. I'm trolling. I can actually kill her right now because my ultimate is back, but I have to be very careful with Ozix right now. I'll just let her escape like this. Okay. We're going to go back and we will buy the Lucidity boots. And after that, I think I'll probably go for uh, Gore Trinker. You know, same thing as always. My spirit is not lost. Uh, Akali's right there. I'm pretty sure she will come over. They really have to back. Like, I know Akali's there. I'm pretty glad I pinged for this because I... if I, I think if I didn't, they would probably stay, I guess. This tower is about to go down very soon. Look at the plates. Awesome. Akali will definitely come back here somewhere. But I will take the tower down so I can make up some space. Nice. Apparently, uh, wait, hold on a second. We can kill Kali here. She's going to the Drake right now. Yeah, the game is, the game is over. The game is won already. I, I, as long as I don't mess up right now, I cannot lose. I have too much pressure. I can do whatever I want to do. I can push. Take him. I can push again. Take red. Push again. Take golem. Push roam. Push roam. Like doing it this way, I cannot lose the game. Uh, this game will 100% be a win for me. I just need to play clean on my part now. We push that back in. I'm gonna go top this time, or I'll take this camp here. Nice. I'll see if I can actually catch a Kali. Hmm. Got her. Now we go back to farming once more. So like, this is pretty much how you play Riff in mid lane. You... Always want to have constant pressure at all times. That's all what matters um, when you play Riven mid. She misses the E. So she fails the gank pretty hard.
You see, K6 is, K6 is struggling to play the game. He's not having a good time. We've got these guys, like, grouping together. These guys are panicking. Like, you see that? He tries to run from Shavana, which doesn't work. Hmm. The jump failed. I'll get this wave, and I'll take the chickens after. Like, you see what we are doing so far? We're literally taking over mid lane, and we're taking over the entire jungle along with it. We're basically win we're basically playing mid lane and the jungle at the same time right now. Cause whenever Cosix tries to like go into into the jungle, I'll I'll be there to stop him from farming out, basically. And the best part is that I can still back. I still have too much gold right now. Now we go down to the golem. You see, we already have 140 CS at like 12 minutes in the game right now. We take this, then we go back to med. Now we go back to mid lane and we farm out the wave once again. And then we go and to the wolves and we farm that. And we're just going to do this on repeat. There's no way to lose this game at all, guys. Perfect. Now we take the wolves this time. Look how farmed up we are. We can literally delete it in a second. She goes back to base. Now I'll take the wolf. Uh, Cossacks may be behind us. I got him. Actually, never mind. I don't. Not even the ADC can play out the game, guys. Not even this guy can. You see, can't even farm up wolves. I'm just standing in the face. <laughs> Another one. Now we take wolf. Perfect. Move up over here, farm out the next wave, and then we farm up the chickens. So long I've wandered. Yep, got it. Imagine, like, what kind of a game that my teammates have right now. My teammates are can push for free. My Twitch is losing the lane, and my Lux as well, right? Look, look how look how hard these guys are losing the game. Twitch, 60 CS, Lux. L look how far behind. But because we are pressuring mid so much, Draven isn't even able to play out bot lane because he's constantly forced to go back mid to, you know, do anything, right? So we're basically winning mid lane. We're winning jungle because we're stealing camps. And we're winning bot lane at the same time because of the pressure and we can also roam top lane at any moment we want uh as of a result all lanes are now winning because only just because i push mid lane all the time right and the longer this continues in the game uh the longer we can keep up the push and take anything we see uh the harder we win here once again we're taking a red buff this time uh akali's farming is out i'll kill her real quick you can't even farm the golem anymore. Like, I'm standing in front of it right now. You try to take it, but I'm taking the rep buff, so... It's not an option for her. Now we go back to pushing this out. We go back to mid. We're gonna take the blue buff. 191 CS right now. Uh, playing Riff in mid lane at 60 minutes. I hope that the rep of I uh, have the blue buff section here. No. Go back to mid. 
Take the wave. Now we go back top. Take this wave. We're gonna uh, we're gonna kill Akali right now. We'll take this wave and then we go back mid and take that as well. And we'll take the chickens after that. So we're basically <laughs> playing two lanes at once right now. We go here. This is how people get like crazy farm in the game. This is how people mainly do it. Wait, which is gonna take my top farm? What is he doing? <laughs> they don't even do damage anymore. You see that? A, a 7 and 1 Draven doesn't even do damage anymore. I'm not even building tank. Hmm. Oh, I want to jump over. Whoops. Alright, let's take it. No damage. Got him. Uh, we can chase this one down. Whoops. Nah, he's dead. Okay, I'll take the wave as well. Nice. Now we go to golems, and we will farm that out. So we're just gonna keep, uh, we're gonna keep farming this out. The more we take, the harder we win, literally. Got all of this. And we go back top, take the wave here. I should want to take the blue buff, but I don't want to be that kind of guy to like. I mean, I could, I could take everything I see right now and all for myself, but uh, I rather not do that. We are about tripling the farm right now, of about anybody. I could have killed him actually. My bad. I don't know what he's doing. Are you? I think he's losing his mind. We go mid. You see a Draven what who's standing is like 7 and 1. Completely destroying my ball lane. Is now losing his mind as well. They don't know how to react anymore. Because they don't get a jungle. Like this Ka6 is... <laughs> this Ka6 is becoming a support right now. Because he can't even farm the game. Um, I actually want to take the farm in top lane, but I guess not. I'll take the farm in mid then. Or. Okay, we got this one. Blue buff is spawning. We're going to have to steal that one too. My, my teammates are falling behind. That's how much I'm farming. Well, they're not falling behind, but... Like, the whole map is for myself right now. Let's go ball. Let's go uh, ball in. Take this too. We got 4.5k gold at the moment. Imagine if we go back to base. Hmm. Multiple catches. Um. 
I got him. Yep. Oh, they come in to surrender. Either way, guys, this is pretty much how you play Riffin in mid lane and how you actually approach your opponents, right? If you have that that constant pressure in mid lane, like you, you have that constant push, like with that push, you can get jungle camps. With that push, you can get roam stun, right? You can backboard, get new items, you can, you know, get... You steal all the buffs, you could steal all the drakes, you could steal all the... You know, you could even go barren like with this, right? If you have that constant pressure, that constant push, that means that Akali, which was her opponent, was basically unable to play the game, right? Because Akali is constantly inside the tower. And because the, the entire lane is being pushed into the tower, also means that Ka6 is unable to play the game too, because I constantly have that pressure, right? I'm constantly sitting in, inside that phase, but... Uh, either way, this was Riffin Top. Um, before we end off today's YouTube video, guys, same thing as always. Make sure to check out the link for the description if you want to see me play live. But uh, yeah, see you next time. Peace.